so he laid off and then he's been calling and texting me all evening to see if we're still cool. No, we're not still cool because we were never cool. We were cool for about a minute and a half when I met you outside and you seemed like a not crazy person. Good morning. Today is Friday the 30th and I'm a cranky bear this morning. Well, because I got home late from the concert, which was awesome. And then I woke up to all these missed calls from Creepy Guy. So, I'm just gonna have to just nip it. I mean, I told him I wasn't interested, so I don't know what else I can do. If I'm gonna tell him again, if he doesn't stop, I'm gonna get my phone number changed and keep it moving. I really don't want to have my phone number changed. I'm attached to it. I've had my same phone number since 1999. I think 1999. Yeah, I think I've had that number since like I was in high school. Like when they had phones and you couldn't even, when text messages were like 25 cents each. And like the whole world was different and we had flip phones with no cameras on them. Yeah, I'm from the olden days, hunty. So I'm just gonna go to work and have the best day ever and make the day go fast. Even though I kinda don't wanna be home anyways. I'm so glad he doesn't know which apartment's mine. And I hope there's no way he could figure it out. Hola mi gente! It's so late. I just came home from work and cuddled with the Bentleys. And now, Fantis is cuddling with the Bentleys. Anywho, I'm about to call a night, but... So, crazy guy. I don't want to call him crazy, that's mean. And I don't even know if I talked about this in the morning. I My skin looks so aged and old. Look at those wrinkles. I have a dimple. You like my scar? Because I can mess with my face and I have a scar. I only have one dimple. Dimples mean that God loves you so much that he booped you in the face. I don't know if that's true. That's just what, like, my old aunties tell me because you know how they are with their old wives' tales. So I don't know if I said what happened this morning. Okay, so, um, crazy guy. We're just calling him crazy guy. He texted me four times in the middle of the night last night, and he called me three times between... 2 and 3.30 in the morning. And then again in the morning. Like a good morning text. is like the best thing ever. But when it's from someone. You don't want it from. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> so I finally hit him. Hit him back up. Why am I talking like I'm from New York again. Um. So I replied to his message. And I was like look. No, I said, do you think it's appropriate to call me four times in the middle of the night like that? And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I was hanging out with my friends at the bar and I got a little out of control. That's not my problem. I don't know you like that. So, I, he texted me later on and I, like, I don't answer any of his calls or texts. So then I sent him a text and I told him the truth. I'm not interested. I feel like for the seven minutes I've known you, you've been inappropriate. I don't think it's okay that you try to show up to my apartment uninvited. Oh, it looks like I have short hair when I look cute with short hair. Anyways, so he laid off and then he's been calling and texting me all evening to see if we're still cool. No, we're not still cool because we were never cool. We were cool for about a minute and a half when I met you outside and you seemed like a not crazy person. The mailbox is. So yeah, I have to check my mail, but I'm gonna wait until the daytime when everybody's outside because I have a feeling he's creepy. bad. I figured if he doesn't stop, I'm gonna block his number. I could block it on my phone, it just goes straight to voicemail, but I'm gonna go online on Verizon and completely block it. I just, I don't want to push him off the edge because if he's crazy enough to try to come over to my house in the middle of the night and call me 18 times saying, I don't know which apartment is yours, come down. I don't want to push him to crazy, even though he is crazy. 
He doesn't seem to take a hint, so that's why I was so upfront, but he doesn't take brutal honesty either, so I don't know what to do with this fella. I gotta cut that off, but I'm gonna call it a night. My hair's still kind of wet, but I'll be fine. I think I'm actually gonna set it, since I'm not doing anything right now real quick, in flexi rods, if I could find my flexi rods. Who stole my flexi rods? Here they are. It's like I wake up early tomorrow. Super short Friday vlog, but who wants to watch me laying on the couch watching TV with the Bentleys? Bentleys, say goodnight to all your friends. Um, bye guys. I'm getting tired myself.